Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com and you're joining me as we hop off good old narrowboat Tilly and head out for a very short walk to Bettersfield Windmill. This is at Bettersfield, as Bettersfield Windmill's name would suggest. Um, and you can see we're just walking down the canal and we're about to hop up and over a bridge just on that corner there. But I wanted to just show you a little bit more of the general surroundings of some of these super rural places. That over there is a church that I've done a time lapse on. If you check out uh, my other videos, you'll find that. But this is one of those brilliant places where you've just got a canal running through just unbelievably rural countryside. And again, places like Bettersfield themselves are really small villages. And it's one of those fascinating things discovering this windmill that uh, probably a couple of months ago, somebody said to me, oh, is the windmill still at Bettersfield? And knew it from years and years and years ago. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure, I don't know. And as it turned out, when I had moored up, I looked on the map and remembered this um, place or this place that possibly exists and saw just marked maybe about a mile away from where we jumped off Tilly just then and across these fields as you can see and of course we're going to take this path that is definitely nothing like as clear as the other path we just looked at um, nothing like the joys of the public rights of way I do absolutely love getting in amongst all of this sort of stuff wandering around the countryside and then um, as I was saying though it was only about a mile away from where Tilly herself was moored up so I thought well let's get to the bottom of this and as you can see I cut my way across the footpaths and eventually found myself back to a road. I absolutely love these random little bridges you find dotted around over little irrigations and streams that run through the fields every now and then. There's some absolutely fantastic little bridges like that that I found that are all like ancient and are falling apart and stuff but as I got to the road and you'll see in just a moment following the Shropshire Way here I was amazed to discover that Bettersfield Windmill is not only still here, but actually now an extremely nice residence. And this is a public right of way that cuts through all this field. But I obviously didn't want to go too close and show somebody's house, but I wanted to just get, let you see the details here of where it's got the old um, spokes or the axle, whatever it's called technically, for the actual blades of the windmill to go on. And well, I was just absolutely amazed to discover this place. And again, if it wasn't for my friend saying it, for the last three years on board Tilly, I've managed to completely miss this because I suppose it's just far enough away from the canal for me to not pay too much attention to. But once again, you've got this amazing rural surroundings. So uh, what a place to go for a walk and discover after three years, like I say, yet another new place out here in the wonderful wilderness of Shropshire. And well, I think this is actually technically in Wales. Um, so on that note, as we have a look at Tilly, I'll wrap things up and say check out my other videos for loads more boaty stuff and scenery in the great outdoors like this. If you want to help me out, please do consider checking out my boaty books. And until the next time, feel free to add me on Facebook, all that usual sort of stuff. But keep it boot worthy. Keep it Bettersfield windmill worthy. Keep it boat worthy, have a fantastic day, and of course, farewell.